for the last 12 hours, the National Police Service officers have been um, in hot pursuit of um, one of um, a serious criminal who is very notorious. And uh, we managed to arrest him uh, yesterday in the afternoon. And uh, this notorious criminal has been involved uh, in uh, committing serious crimes like robberies. And he has been applying strategies like carrying petrol and an axe. Whenever he approaches an, um, an homestead, he smashes the widows, the widow pens, and um, eventually um, uh, splashes the petrol into those uh, houses. So after doing that, he issues some threats to those people they are in, that if they raise an alarm, he's going to uh, put the houses ablaze. That's how he's been operating, and he's been getting access to those houses by breaking into those um, into those houses through the windows and uh, stealing from the members of the public and he has not done that one once. We have around around eight instances that have already been reported. I wish to uh, inform the members of the public that we have managed to arrest him and he is already with us and we are processing him so that he can be taken to court. It's also important to inform the members of the public that our area is very safe. Yesterday, as our officers were patrolling, they got some information, um, uh, they got some distress call that uh, there were some four suspicious people who had uh, gone into a, into a petrol station and they were attempting to uh, demolish the wall so that they can steal money from uh, uh, where money is kept in that petrol station. Uh, eventually, uh, our officers uh, moved in swiftly, within a very few minutes, and uh, after challenging these people, uh, they started running away as they uh, shot uh, towards our, our officers. They were gunshots hand as they ran away, and in the process, because we have a responsibility as police officers also to protect life and property, we gunned one of them down and we were able to recover quite a number of um, uh, dangerous weapons. This person was dressed up in uh, military attires, and that one indicates very well that uh, these are people that uh, were purporting to be uh, military or police officers, uh, so that they can, be, uh, they, they can be able to talk to those watchmen that they eventually um, took and tied them, their hands uh, against uh, uh, some objects so that they cannot be able, so that they can immobilize them. So um, we managed to make sure that uh, that crime has been prevented uh, only because of uh, the swiftness and also the vibrance that is within uh, the members, the police officers that uh, are behind and the, and the, and the leadership uh, within the police service here in uh, uh, Muranga County. I would also like to say, I would also like to say that uh, we have endeavoured to make sure that uh, uh, the crackdown of illicit brews, uh, drugs and contrabands uh, continues. Uh, this has been sustained for the last uh, four months and we are continuing. We are not relenting at all. I would like to appeal to the county government of Muranga to also help us in the issue of licensing so that those bars that have got issues uh, especially those that are close uh, to primary schools, uh, we have a responsibility also as leaders to make sure that uh, we provide a conducive environment to the students and pupils uh, so that as they continue with their studies, they will not, um, they will not get any disturbance uh, from such premises. Uh, Muranga County is a safe area to be. The, the, people, the business people are doing so well. The ones that are involved in farming are also doing marvelous. And it is because of the provision of security by this respective team that you can see here and others. We have given this matter a Mutangese approach. And that's the reason why we have succeeded this far.
So that is all I can say for now.
Nasikia kuna identification parade inaendelea. Ah uh, imepangwa vizuri inaendelea. 